welcome back to Art Time with Mrs. Jones. Today's activity is going to focus on color and emphasis. I do have a read aloud linked in the description below, so please make sure that you have listened to Angus and the Colorful Day before you start this lesson. Color can be used to show emotion and show emphasis in a picture. It shows emotion, kind of like the characters in the movie Inside Out. Red is the color for anger, because whenever you get angry, you can turn red, right? But also, it can be the color of love. Here are two works of art that show red being used for different emotions. In this picture by Edward Munch, The Scream, you can see red in the sky, where he is feeling a bit anxious and a bit scared and angry. Whereas in this picture by Picasso, it's giving the emotion of love as this is a picture of his girlfriend. Yellow is another color that we would consider to be warm. It makes you feel happy. And when you feel happy, you get a warm feeling inside, like the character Joy on Inside Out. Now, blue is a color that makes you feel a little bit sad. It's very calming. It can make you take those deep breaths and relax yourself but it kind of gives you a sense of sadness, like the character sadness in Inside Out. This is a portrait painted during Picasso's blue period, a time in which he was very sad and painted in blues. You can almost feel his sadness just looking at this picture, and it is due to the color blue that he used. Now we're actually gonna do two art projects today. The first is making a hot dog and a cool cat. The hot dog is gonna be colored with warm colors. The cool cat is gonna be colored with cool colors. After we do our hot dog and cool cat, we're going to create a fall leaf with a cool background. And the fall leaf is going to be warm so that it emphasizes that the leaf is front and center in this picture. It is gonna be with warm, vibrant colors that make it pop off the page. The background is going to be cool to show that the cooler weather is here and to kind of take a back seat to that beautiful, vibrant leaf in the front. Let's go ahead and grab our paper and something to color with and we'll get started. All right guys, today you are going to need a blank sheet of paper and something to color with. I am gonna be using markers. You can use whatever it is you have. Now I'm gonna start with my paper vertical and I'm gonna fold it in half. This is gonna give me two places to work with. On the top, we're going to be learning about our warm and cool colors. And on the bottom, we're going to do our fancy fall leaf. So I'm gonna be drawing with a black marker and we're gonna be drawing a hot dog and a cool cat. So on this side, I'm gonna draw a simple picture of a puppy. If you would like to draw a dog along with me, you can, or you can draw your own. Now my cool cat is gonna be drawn here. Again, draw your own kitty cat, or you can follow along with mine. All right, so I have my hot dog and my cool cat. Now it's time to start coloring. My hot dog is going to be colored with warm colors. So if you listened to Angus and the Colorful Day, you will know that our warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So I'm gonna color my hot dog red, orange, and yellow. So there's my cute little hot dog with warm colors. My cool cat is going to be colored with cool colors. Again, if you listened to Angus and the Colorful Day, you will know that green, blue, and purple are our cool colors. So my cool cat will be colored with cool colors. Oh. 
All right, so here is my cool cat. So my hot dog has warm colors and my cool cat has cool colors. If you think about the book that we listened to, hot dog has hot colors because the colors here are things that we associate with things that are warm, like the hot peppers or the warm sand at the beach or even the warm sunlight that was shining through the window. The cool cat has cool colors because we associate these colors with things that are calm, cool, and relaxing like the blue water or the green grass or the purple sky. Those are all things that we can relate to. And when we look at art, we really wanna think about how we're using colors to express emotion or feeling or even temperature. Now on the bottom here, we're gonna be creating a warm leaf with a cool background. And this is gonna represent the leaves falling off the trees that are often warm in color, and then the cool air around us because it is fall. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. I am gonna show you one leaf style here, but feel free to draw any type of leaf that you might want. So I have my warm leaf and my cool background. And you can see that these are a lot more vibrant and the leaf actually looks like it's popping up in front of the cool background. Whenever you are making art, you can always use color to show emphasis, to make your eye move to something specific. Whenever you are wanting something to pop out, you will make it in warm colors. If you wanted the background to pop out, then you would do it in the reverse. So this is our hot dog, warm leaf, cool cat, cool background art masterpiece. All right, guys, that is it for today. I cannot wait to see what your hot dogs, cool cats, and fall leaves look like. So please make sure you share your creations with me. And until next time, stay warm and keep creating. Love you, bye.